So with the release of Amendment 1, it's a hot topic now, this broken pen mm. conductor. A few years ago, Joe, a student of mine called Ryan Hatton, it took me a whole year not to call him <laughs> Ricky, Ricky Hatton, Hatton. Yeah. you know me and names. <laughs> it was like every time I spoke to him, I said, don't say Ricky, don't say Ricky. <laughs> He said to me, he said he's currently working on the jointing system. Yep. Okay, he was installing cables for new housing estates, and we come up with the, the PME, protective yep. multiple earthing, when yep. we're using a TNCS earthing arrangement. And that's the system where you go along sticking earth rods in the ground and connecting it to your combined neutral and earth along its room. Yeah, for the supply authority is meant to do that. And how many chambers do you see going up the road, Joe? Well, do you know what's funny is when I was at college and I was taught this by my lecturer at the time, a chap called Clive, hope you're still around, Clive, lovely bloke. Uh, he uh, pointed this out to us, he described this and then went, but I've never seen this done in the real world, they don't do it. And he was, he was our science and principles teacher, not our installation teacher, and he kind of went, I don't know why. And that uh, kind of always stuck with me, and today we're going to find out why. Yeah, so yeah, the, the legacy system that we've got in place, probably they didn't multiply earth the neutral as it went through as run. So they didn't put the PME in place. I know in some, some cases what they used to do is on the old cables, they used to strip off the outer sheathing yeah. and just leave it a bit bare in the mud. Mm. Okay, but they certainly, and I haven't seen a chamber anywhere at my street, seen any earth rods being driven in. But he went away and he started panicking because he thinks right. I do a joints every day yeah. and I don't put any earth rods in. And Gary's told me in lesson that I have to mm. in order for it to be a TNCS earthing arrangement. So he, he went away, panicked everybody at work, and then sat in the back of his van, Joe, yep. and put this together to prove himself right and me wrong. Well, thank you very much, Ryan. We're, we're always glad to be proved wrong. No problem with that. So, so what we've got here is actually, and we're going to bring the camera in nice and close in a minute, we, what we've got here is a system that doesn't actually break the protective earth neutral. Right. So what we're talking about is under the old system of splicing cables yes. and putting new connections to new properties Absolutely. on, this cable would have been cut through, yep. which obviously creates a weak point. It, it creates a joint that, that could fail. Yes. However, what we're looking at under this modern method is that as we bring the camera in and see closer, the conductors have not been broken, which therefore means that the chances of you losing this yeah. protective earth neutral connection is pretty much zero. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So he was putting in like 2,000 metre runs or 1,000 metre runs, etc., with absolutely no, mm. every time he joins it, no earth rod going in the ground, therefore no staking of the combined neutral earth. So a different method of proving, of, of making uh, a pen system safe. Yeah, so bring the camera in, we'll show you what's going on in there. Cool. So Ryan sat in the back of his van and put this joint together, something you did every day, okay? So we've got here, and it's difficult to see, so that's why I've brought an older color one out. So mm. what we've got here is our concentric cable with our old-fashioned red. We've got brown here. It becomes um, you know, difficult to see within actually in the joint. Just remind me what material the line conductor is made of, Joe. Yeah, so inside there you can see that this is sort of a silvery color. That's aluminium. And then the conductor's wrapped around the outside. People often mistake this for armored uh, steel wire armored cable, don't they? they do, this yeah. is a copper conductor wrapped around the outside and that is your line conductor yep. coming into your single phase property and this is your combined neutral and earth conductor so it's this kind of cable that you'll find on a TNCS system where the uh, neutral and the earth are combined up to the origin of the property and separated from there on. And the big issue is if we lose this conductor, yeah. we don't just lose our neutral, mm -hmm. we also lose the protective conductor with the installation. Yeah. And then obviously there's other ways that that neutral current can find its way home. Yeah. It could find its way home maybe through the metallic water pipe or metallic gas pipe. And there's mm -hmm. big issues there around broken pens. Yeah. So of course we reiterate it over and over again in the classroom. And these are linked to a set of notes that me and Joe have put together. But let's look at what uh, has happened inside the joint to solve the problem, which is what I really like. Now, my three phase conductors, so we've got brown, black, and gray. Okay, brown, black, and gray conductors. What have they not done to those conductors that would have done in an historic one? Yeah, so you can see that this hasn't been cut through at all. All that's happened here is that they've separated the conductors out slightly. They've very carefully removed the insulation and then peeled back the copper armor in around the big cable so as to expose the uh, the uh, aluminium conductors here that are insulated and then they've just cut away a tiny little bit of insulation here it's, it's a really neat job actually yeah, it it's a beautiful yeah. job he's done it was a good and uh, you can see there that then there is a clamp onto that aluminium cable so these conductors haven't been cut even the one that we're connecting onto and taking a supply off has not been cut through therefore the line conductors have actually maintained their integrity throughout 
So by not breaking the line conductor, we obviously probably won't lose that line conductor. Yep. We've clamped onto it, but what sort of material have we clamped onto our aluminium conductor with here? You can see that that's aluminium throughout. So you've got aluminium conductor, you've yep. got an aluminium clamp, and you've got an aluminium conductor going out to the new property. And why is it so important to keep the metals the same, Joe? Uh, it's important because you get an effect called galvanic corrosion, yep. which happens if you've got uh, certain metals that you connect together, if they occupy vastly different spaces on what's called the galvanic scale, yeah. the metals will start to damage each other and could deteriorate to the point where actually they break down completely and, and actually this could snap off. Uh, and we'll have a little chat about another example of that in here in a minute. So we didn't break the line conductor and we connected to the line conductor going into the property. Mm -hmm. They also didn't break this outside mm. protective earth neutral. So if we look on yeah. this cable here, just for a little bit of a design, we can see it, it's not its convention with the way we have a steel wire arm and it's actually been done by design. So when it's opened out, Joe, you can actually pull it off mm. the cable itself. So it doesn't spiral so much as wave along no, that. Absolutely. Mm. So this here, made of copper, is our neutral and protective conductor. Mm. So it's our combined conductor. And that's actually probably even more important than not breaking the line conductors, isn't it? The fact that this uh, solid copper conductor passing through here, which is our combined neutral and earth, has not been broken. That's probably more important that that's remained a solid connection throughout than the line conductors. So by not breaking into my protective earth neutral, mm -hmm. I can't lose it. Yes, you've, so not, you've not created a weak point. You haven't created a weak mm. point. Now people go, well, 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 we have because obviously we've got to connect our cable onto it. But that's always been the case. Mm -hmm. The cable that goes, in this case, this concentric cable that goes up to the installation and mm -hmm. into the bottom of our cutout, has never been staked at all. No. It's just one conductor from the joint. It was always historically the joints that fail. And when the joints were failing, it was potentially the neutral and earth that we were losing, Joan. Yeah. No stakes. So obviously it causes us a massive issue. Mm. What I also like about this is the way that they've actually connected their neutral earth. So it comes off here. I know it's difficult to see. So it comes off here and it goes under this clamp. Joel will talk about that in a minute. Mm -hmm. It comes all the way around here and he's actually connected onto both sides yeah. and clamped again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, don't yeah, talk about belts and braces. So you've got you've got two connections, and you'll notice that these haven't got a head on them. So these are uh, cranked up to a particular setting, and when you reach a specific tightness, the head just shears off. Absolutely. So you know you, you always know that you've got the the right tightness there, which is great. So it's clamped in two places. So there's a bit of double redundancy, and also although you wouldn't rely on it as a connection method, you can see that this is actually cable tied on to <laughs> yeah. there as well. So it's kind of you, you're just never going to lose that connection at all, are you? No, you're not. So we've got it in two places, both sides of the actual conductor mm. itself for the protective earth neutral which is I like. This one here is pretty obvious to me. This yep. one's brass. There's no dissimilar reaction mm -hmm. between copper and brass, and, yep. and that's fine. Oh, you used an aluminium <laughs> one, Danny. Did it on purpose? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was very good of him to do it on purpose as well. Um, so again, you might look, look at this and go, well, aluminium onto copper, you're going to get galvanic corrosion. Right. That could start to break down. And, and also, he, he's done it at this end as well. So if that one's going to break down, you, you might lose your connection. But actually, what's, what's happened here is you can see that there's two things here. The little plunger at the bottom here is made out of brass. And also there's a little piece of brass gauze that's wrapped around the copper conductors as well. And that will prevent that galvanic corrosion from taking place. So uh, again, it's really nice to see those two different styles of connection and understand that this aluminium connection is not going to cause any damage to the copper cable. And he did that for me on purpose, which I thought was a suit. Yeah, well, it was. <laughs> yeah, even though it was very difficult not to call him and his name's Ryan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mr. Hatton. Yeah, so they're fantastic. So under this system, we don't need to stake our combined neutral mm. earth because we don't believe we're going to lose that. Yeah. And as always, our cable goes into our installation and feeds it. Yeah, and it's interesting to note as well that the design of this concentric cable is quite important as well because if you look at the end of that, you can see that the combined neutral earth conductor, the, the conductor that we're worried about yeah. losing, that we're yeah. worried about breaking, is wrapped around the line conductor. Now that means that if by some chance, and these are buried pretty deep, so it's pretty unlikely, but if by some chance someone was to cut through this cable, yeah. what would happen is as the, sh as the shovel went through there, as they were digging maybe, what would happen is that they would uh, cut through the line conductor before that went all the way through and broke the combined neutral there. So actually the, they'd have either shorted the system out and blown something, yeah. or they would have disconnected the line conductor feeding the building and left the uh, combined neutral earth till last cutting it through by accident. So. 
again, that's another reason why we don't need to have that staked to long its length. So we've got all bases covered then. Yeah. Um, just for my learners, again, it's in our notes that me and Joe produced. It's filled full of a resin. And just a quick one now. That resin is there, obviously, to make sure we get a waterproof joint. So mm -hmm. to stop the ingress of water is an mm -hmm. exam question. In the old days, this resin used to set rock hard, yeah. Joe. Yeah. What is the problem with having a, a cable, maybe in a road, with a rock hard resin yeah. actually inside it? Well, unfortunately, once you've buried this kind of connection, and I've, I've done a few of these myself, it, it doesn't stay perfectly still for its lifetime. You get all kinds of vibrations yeah. going on, perhaps from the road, perhaps yeah. from even from the electricity flowing through here. 50 cycles. A little bit of vibration. Yeah. And actually that resin could sometimes has broken down historically, hasn't it? It's not it's not a terrible system by any yeah. means, but it has been known to, to break down. So what, what change has taken place nowadays? Cause yeah, what it is, it, it looks like it's set now. Mm. The new resin they put in looks like it's set, but it isn't. It yeah. actually is <clears throat> semi-set. Stays kind of plastic yeah. almost. Yeah, yeah, it does. And then obviously it can move with vibrations mm. in the road. So yeah. if there is a vibration, traffic going over the top or yeah. the 50 hertz hum, actually it can just withstand that vibration in yeah. order that it doesn't break because when it does break at the ingress of water yeah. then we've got another another problem and you can see it's sealed both ends for yeah. us ready as if it was going to have the resin poured into it for Absolutely. us so this is the modern method of connection which uh, reduces the need for that staked uh, earth connection going out from here yeah. obviously in older systems yeah. where perhaps these cables have been cut yes that is where the broken pen does start to become an issue and don't forget anyone who can find a chamber in their street uh, that says under it the earth electrode yeah. for my PME system. Yeah, I'd be surprised. I think there's a number of problems here, historic problems is I don't believe they've made enough uh, neutral earth stakes throughout mm. the run and obviously in a, an aging system it's caused a problem. Mm. So uh, modern cables have solved that problem but of course we're going to be living with that legacy issue for many years to come Joe. For sure. So shall we end it? I think we do. We hope, we hope this, this video, video has been, been some help. help.